looked solid so far, haven't they? Joanne DeFay won this contest last year. Just has such a good read on this wave. A no fear approach. Willing to get in that critical part of the wave. Courtney Conlog, much the same. And uh, Bethany, we know she's gonna have a real advantage with those big, powerful forehand turns. On the championship tour of Had Victory here, that's Sally Fitzgibbons and Joanne DeFay. Do you think they're the two names that you'd put at the top of the list for, for claiming the win here once again? Totally. She's having a look at this one. Impeccable wave selection she possesses. And swings on this ride, just motoring down the line. Oh, oh that was awkward. Just came down uh, a little funky there. Hopefully she's okay. Maybe one cocktail <laughs> at the bar and happy hour, but... <laughs> there we go. Bethany live action, tucking in deep in the barrel. But there's always uh, a number of tricky little wipeouts there, that end section when it starts to bottom out. <laughs> just see, they just use the leg strength and that little breaststroke kick with her legs just keeps her kind of centered on that board. But it's so impressive. I mean, you have to relearn that technique such an inspirational story. Amazing. And not just the, the paddling and the duck diving, but also the, the just getting to her feet. She's always having to kind of negotiate late takeoffs because she is missing that, that extra paddle power, that acceleration into the wave. Nothing to, to lose. Here we go. A tricky bowly section there to deal with for Courtney. She goes down. You can see the wave really cupped out as the tide drops here at Cloud Break. We see the numbers starting to roll through. A low scoring heat so far. But with uh, these three surfers out there, you'll know you'll see some big scores drop at some stage. It might be right now as Joanne loads up. Plenty of speed. She heads down the line. Another dollar towards that. Taparita. Having a look again, Joanne DeFay. Just letting go of a couple of decent sized moves here on a medium. Right, gets the finish. That'll be the best way of the heat so far. Let's see how Courtney responds. She goes down, 16 and a half minutes remaining here. And it's Bethany left out the back with priority. She banks on this wave, turning into something special, that first turn. Just devastating. Plenty of water being thrown. She's going to pull through the back there. But there'll be uh, some reward for that first manoeuvre. Really pushed hard on the tail. Plenty of spray. And that extra leverage with your arms. But Bethany's just compensated so well here. Yeah, you can just see that bottom turn sets her right up. And she's centred over her board. So when she unweights it, the fins can drift and she can keep that center of gravity over a, over a uh, stringer and it keeps her balance and let's just have a look at the technique that she uses to get into this wave i mean these late drops they're sucking up so fast these waves with that bottoming out tide and bethany just stays so low and compact it gives her that ability to have a low center of gravity and that's where she unweights right there and just sets that rail and and, and rides it out so well i mean we we spend so much time balancing everything out with our arms and our shoulders and Bethany has just figured out a way to keep her center of gravity so in tune with the rest of her body. Here we go, Courtney up. Let's see what she can do. Hasn't really had the rhythm out here at the moment. She doesn't like the way this wave is lining up. She's going to kick out. She's going to actually swing down the line here. Can pick off some excellent rides on this end section. But you don't have much time, so you've got to get going. And there is a couple of really strong turns to get this ride started. Found the rhythm and chips Ooh, away. Got a little hung up in the lip there. Dangerous place to be once you get to that inside. This is uh, Joanne, late takeoff into this ride. But I think what I want to see here, Ronnie, is just the way that she unweights her surfboard as she gets to the top there. To do that, you would have to have that bit of speed and momentum and, and the right timing to release that tail. 
that dismount, just those coral heads looming underneath her. So rewarded for that commitment. But definitely that ability to unweight the tail. Here we go, Bethany lining up a little pocket right here. Driving down low, a bit of foam on the face, but no problem. And she kicks on that tail pad very hard. Progressing directly through to the quarters. Here goes Courtney. Been a little quiet in this one. And as a result, she tries to throw everything at that first section. She goes down just over eight minutes to go. Just under four minutes to go here. Conditions tend to clean up in the afternoon. Even with that increased wind, it sort of tidies this line up. And Courtney's just struggling out there at the moment to find a couple of decent rides. Keeps getting those really bowly insiders. What's unfolding at the very top end? Because world title runs. They can stop and start here. Or continue. As we see, Courtney just hanging on with everything she's got. So determined to get the exit there on the inside, punching through the curtain. And Bethany right behind her, draws off the bottom and looks to set up a barrel of her own. Well, a clean entry, but that thing just ran off. She might have done enough here to get the win. Let's have a look at Bethany's replay. Yeah, Bethany just snapping under the under the lip there. Traveled for quite some distance in that tube ride. It just obliterates her at the end there. But Courtney Conlog stomping that tail and this is a tidy little tube ride finds the doggy door exit it's the same story for bethany hamilton meanwhile joanne defay just finding two decent rides out there that was really the difference puts together a heat score total of 13.33 and again joanne defay into the finals